I S U P K. Chucky, Chucky, Chucko. Ah, boy. We go feed them a mad sit. Mad, mad, mad sit. All of me link them, Chucky, Chucky. Chuck them quick thinking. Yo, Swanee. Caliber sing ship Titanic, Swanee Race to them three points on it Them can't escape the rock, can't run from it Jackie Jackie settings can't speak in a Spanish, no English Them can't understand it Fling up the clip or a chick, then slam it Head bust, foot twist up bionic Z-Tech, lift your head, crown carbon it Trinidad This is a them, this is a them This is a them, this is a them Always killing when me they are with me since a friend West. Everything lift up now, it's figured up in them Bitch I give them, bitch I give them, bitch I give them, bitch I give them. Always chilling when me there with me jaggy friend. Ooh, anyone ooh, in there has simple things for me to be them. Me know that them wasn't ready. Rifle a beat, balance the things steady. Cup a shot in a your head, boss out the big jelly. Sure, Miss Red, this is the ISUPK in Trinidad and Tobago. Under commanding General Yahana. Since 1969, we have been teaching at blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. So today I'm going to bring out the truth according to the Bible because since 1969 we have been talking about it. You understand? And the truth right now, there's a cry amongst Israel. There's a cry amongst black people. There's a cry in Silox. There's a cry in John John. There's a cry in Lavantil. There's a cry in Labre. And nobody gives a damn about black people. Because why? Why nobody cares about black people? Because we're Christians. Christians don't give a damn about black people. All Christians want to do is eat food and have sex with whoever they can have sex with. That is what a Christian want to do. But black people, let me tell you something, black people. Today, on at this school, the Israelite like School and Universal Practical Knowledge, we care about black people. You understand? So we come out and tell black people the truth. That's right. Why we suffering so much. Why it is we get us so much and nobody cares about us. We come out and speak the truth today. You understand? And give me your time to speak today. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. Right, so what we're going to prove is that we are the people that they're supposed to listen to. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian people. We are the prophets of the Bible. The Christian leader is not a prophet. You understand? All the Christian want to do is have sex with whoever he wants to have sex with. You understand? And take all the tithes money and pay it in the church. Just like Pastor Dayal. He come into the bank with $29 million. $29 million in tithes money. He come to the bank with and so much have black people suffering, and you want to get nobody no money? 29 million dollars? You understand now? Nah, Christians don't give, give a damn about black people. That's what Christians want to do. Yeah, give me the scriptures. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that had been before me. Right, so Jeremiah said the prophets that had been before him. Right. And before thee of old. And before them of old. Right. Prophesied both against many countries. Prophesied both against many countries. That's what we just do today. We just prophesy against country. We don't say I'm come to the church and, and sing all of everybody. Let's hold hands and sing Kumbaya. We just prophesy against country. We just pray for World War Three to come. Because only world, when World War Three come, it will wipe out this plague, this disease what's going on here, and a fresh will start back. We just do that. The Christian pastor don't do that. He loves he love this society. The Christian loves to see black people suffering in the ghetto. That's what the Christian like to do. Okay. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. That's what we just prophesy again. You understand? Right now, Trump bomb. I think it's our way. Um, Iraq. Iraq. You understand? We like that. Keep on bombing Iraq, Trump. Let the war start. Let it start. Yeah, go ahead. Of war. Mm -hmm. Of war. Go ahead. Of evil. Of evil, go ahead. Of pestilence. Of pestilence, sickness and diseases. We just pray for our enemies to die of heart attacks in their sleep. And when I say enemies, I don't mean black people. They are not a black on black crime, but I not black on black crime. We could solve that issue within one another. When I say we enemies, I mean the other races that don't love black people. We just pray for our enemies to die of heart attack in their sleep. That's what we just pray. The prophet which prophesied of peace. The prophet which prophesied of peace. Go ahead. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Now, what Jeremiah is saying here. If prophets pray of peace, pray of love, pray let all of us hold hands and come together. Go ahead. Then shall... 
the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known. Then shall the prophet be known. But since the Christian leader praying about God loves everybody, and we should all hold hands, it don't matter what Ray says, God loves everybody. Since the pastor preaching that, has that ever happened? No, because the pastor is not a prophet. The pastor is just a greedy bastard. That is all the pastor. All he cares about is the tax money to get millions of dollars home, so he can buy a big mansion and a fancy car. The pastor is not a prophet, but we are prophets. Because we just prophesy of grains country. We just prophesy for sickness and diseases against our enemies. That will be the given Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 1. Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep right, so of my pastor. Right, so the prophet Jeremiah is bashing all the pastors. The pastor with an S at the end, he doesn't say a certain pastor or a certain um, leader. He said pastors, all Christian leaders. He said woe unto them. Woe means destruction. That is what woe means. So the prophet Jeremiah saying destruction to all the Christian leaders. So destruction to Pastor Coffee. Destruction to um, the pastor they are all the bank with 29 million dollars. Destruction to um, where is the pastor name there again? In the Cottage Church? Pastor Gemma. Destruction to um, Archbishop Charles Gordon in the Cottage Church here. Now the prophet Jeremiah saying here, destruction. Say the Lord. Therefore, thus say the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my flock, mm -hmm. ye have scattered my flock. Against the pastors that feed his flock, we have scattered us. Because why they teach us lies. They teach us if, um, if a woman in sign a piece of paper, she's not married. When marriage is not a piece of paper, according to the Bible, sex is marriage. When a man has sex with a woman, that says, why? Not a piece of paper. A paper don't mean nothing. You understand? But the pastor leading us astray. That's right. He's making us sin. Because he telling us if we don't sign that piece of paper, leave each other. You understand? The pastor making us sin, scattering us about. Because when we sin, the Lord has punished us. And this will end up happening to us. Right. And have driven them away. And have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord. So again, the Christian pastor is an evil, greedy bastard. You understand? A greedy, evil, sexual bastard. All the pastor want to do is molest the children and them in the church. That is all the pastors want to do. All the pastors want to do is steal the tithes money and, and buy fancy can house. All the Christian leaders and them like that. And that is why it has so much a crime in the black community. That's because right. You see what going on in the churches. And the pastors don't give a damn about in the black community. The pastor and them don't care about people in Jonjan and Silas. The pastor don't care about them. But we care about them. That is why we come out here today, sacrificing life to tell black people hey, it's time for us to wake up. Let we stop eating poor crab, shrimp, and lobster. You understand? Let we do the right thing. Once we do the right thing, we don't need them pastor and them. You understand? The Lord is going to be with us and we're going to rule this earth. You understand? So, the book of Matthew, chapter 23, and verse 1. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Right, so. You know, book, the book of Matthew, chapter 23, and verse 1. Then spake Jesus to the multitude. Right, so Jesus, Jesus Christ, as you all know him, right? But the was shine the Hebrew. He's talking to the multitude. That's what Christ is doing. Christ is talking to the multitude of people now. Everybody here, Christ is talking to him. Go ahead. And to his disciples. And say, to his disciples. Go ahead. The scribes and Pharisees sit in the Moses seat. Now, this whole scripture here, Matthew chapter 23, Christ is calling all the Christian leaders hypocrites. All the Christian leaders, he's calling them hypocrites. I never heard a pastor read this scripture yet in the Bible. I never heard a pastor calling himself a hypocrite. But Christ called them hypocrites. And we go and prove that these are the Christian leaders. Do you want to two again? Saying, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. The scribes and Pharisees are the Christian leaders. Because they sit on Moses' seat. Because why? What Moses taught? Moses taught the laws. Moses taught this. The laws are the Bible. What the Christian leader, what pastor coffee and pastor they are. 
and um, Pastor Ch um, Ash Charles Bishop doing. They're teaching the same laws that Moses taught. So they are the Christian leaders, the scribes and the Pharisees are the Christian leaders. Paul, yes, therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe. So Christ said, whatever the Christian leader do it, go do it. Go follow the Christian leader, because he's a hypocrite. That's what Christ is saying here. Well, all therefore, whatsoever they, they bid you observe. Right, whatever they do, just observe. Don't do it, just observe. Don't listen to the Christian pastor when he says God loves to allow it and eat and pork and he's celebrating Christmas. Just watch the pastor. Well, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Right, because whatever they say the pastor say and do, they don't do it. So the pastor is a hypocrite. The book of Matthew chapter 23 and verse 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Right, so when you say Matthew chapter 23, we just went down to verse 15. So Christ said, woe unto you Christian leaders. You are hypocrites. Now what Christ is saying here, he called the Christian leaders hypocrites. Well, hypocrites. For ye come past sea and land. For you come past sea and land. You go out to sea and land. Well, and make one proselyte. And when he is made, you make him twofold more child of hell than right. yourself. Right, and make one proselyte. A proselyte is a student. And they make him twice as more than he in hell, the child of hell. You know what? A proselyte is a student. So when the pastor teaching, he garbage. And he have a student learning from him. That child is going to grow up worse than the pastor. That child is going to grow up twice as worse than the pastor. That's what Christ saying here. So that's what Christ calling them hypocrites. The book of Matthew, chapter 23, and verse 27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Right, so Christ again, he called the Christian leaders hypocrites. That was Christ called the Christian leaders hypocrites. For ye are like unto whited sepulchres. Right, you are like whited sepulchres, right? Which indeed appear beautiful outward, but within are full of dead men's bones. Right, so outward, they appear beautiful. They are attracting people outwards, but inwardly, they are full of dead men's bones. They are hypocrite. You understand that what Christ said? They are attracting people outside, but inwardly, they are an evil bastard. Leading the children of Israel straight down into hell. And they don't care about black people in the Christian here. Verse 28. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. But within, ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. You appear righteous unto men outward. You understand how that's how you appear unto people, right? Like a righteous man. Because why are you worshiping the Lord? But not because you're worshiping the Lord means there's a righteous man. That's what Christ is saying here. Well, but, uh, but within, he are full of hypocrisy right? so and iniquity. Right? So the Christian leader, the Christian pastor, he is full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That's what the Christian leader is So again, we are not affiliated with any other religious organization on the face of the earth. If it is not under the ISUPK, under Commanding General Yehana, it is not in the truth. And we are not affiliated with them. We are not Christian. We are not Muslim. We are not Buddhist. We are not atheists. We are the ISUPK, under Commanding General Yehana. The book of John, chapter 5, and verse 46. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. Right? So, Christ is saying, for have you believed in Moses, you would have believed in me. Right? For Moses, for he wrote of me. But if he believe not his writings, ye shall believe, ye shall believe my words. Right? So if he shall not believe in his writings, how can you believe in my words? Right? 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 How shall he believe my words? But if you shall believe not in his writing, how can you believe in my words? What Christ is saying here is the Old Testament is New Testament. I never break no law. So 
to the past, none of them be saying God's laws gone away with. They are hypocrites. That's what you're saying there. The past, are you saying that? You are hypocrites. $29 million. Pass that they are walking to the bank with the chain and said, I said, Sky's money, you have it for 19 years. You make a tell me for 19 years. You have 29 million dollars in your house. 29 years and black people suffering so much. That's why we tell each other like dogs in the shit. You understand? Because you see the hypocrisy at the Christian church. That is why. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not. I am come to destroy the law. Right, so Christ said, don't think I come to destroy the law. Christ don't come to destroy no law. Yes, I'm good. All the prophets. All the prophets. Everything else to remain the same. He ain't changed nothing. Right. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right, he ain't come to destroy, he come to fulfill. What he came to do, he come to fulfill the laws and them. He taught us the spirit and the law. Taught us, hey, I know I don't see marriage is a piece of paper, but I'm not married. Sex is married. I know when I don't feel like I'm a brother who are against our next brother, or the show both who are tell Paul and Harry. But no, don't want to tell Paul and Harry. Come to your brother one on one, and I don't lose the thing now. Christ came to talk as the spirit and you. Got to come. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 18. For verily I say unto you, in heaven and earth pass, one just or one settled shall in no wise pass from the law. Right, so Christ saying, Tell heaven and earth pass, one drop or one settled, that means the smallest thing, like a duck, one drop or one settled, shall not pass from the law. Nothing small, the smallest thing shall not pass from this law. Good. Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. Verse 19 Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven right so whoever shall break one of these commandments you shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven all the pastors and them is hypocrites pastors don't like that people the christian leaders don't like people in silas and john john the christian leaders don't like people in library they don't like people in the quarry they don't like people in saint paul's Christian leaders don't like black people, they don't like the they don't like the love and kill and go back. You understand? All they care about is the people in Balsay. They care about the people in West Moray. That is what Christian leaders care about. They don't care about black people. And that's why black people are suffering so much. Because who gave a damn about black people? Nobody gets a damn about us. So nobody gets a damn about black people. Well, of course, I want a, a life and Christ. You understand? The pastor already telling me I could have God. He hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. So then I could go ahead and kill. Because even though I kill, God just hates how I kill, but he still loves me. You understand? Okay. 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 The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He, so that he that said, I know him, I keep it not. His commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Right? So he who says, you have it down, shall it like He that says, I know him, and keep it not, his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Right? The truth is not in him. That's the Christian leader. Okay. Okay. But whosoever keepeth his words in him, verily is the love of God. Perfected, right? And that's the man in the eyes should be king. We keep the word at the Lord enough. You understand? We keep the word at the Lord enough. But the pastor, you don't keep the word at the Lord enough. The Lord is not okay. The truth is not to the Christian leader. That is why you don't care about God's people who are black, Hispanic, and native people. That's right. The pastor is a damn hypocrite. And Christ called them hypocrites. So I can call them hypocrites too. All the Christian leaders are hypocrites. You understand? That is what we're on here. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? So the pastor will read that and say, yes, they could sin. So the pastor said that hypocrite. The pastor will read that scripture and say, yes, they could sin. Yes, they could be a murderer. 
Yes, it could be a girl. Try that pasta, but we don't say that. You understand? That you don't read over again, Romans chapter 1. The book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound? Alright, so the pastor will say yes. And all that are grace, you have to sin. So the pastor making me kill each other like dogs on the street. Right. You understand? That's what the pastor doing. You read in the scriptures. Because he don't understand it because the spirit and the Lord is not with him. He will tell you, hey, in all that are grace, you have, to, you have to sin. You have to become a homosexual. You have to become a lesbian. So you have grace. But that is not true. The pastor just don't understand the spirit and the, and the Bible. That is why I say the only way to understand the spirit of this Bible is to come in the ISUPK on the commandment of Jerry Hannah. Can you can? The book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? God forbid. Right? So you hear that? Read it over again. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace, God forbid, right? So Paul saying, God forbid that. God forbid that they should sin. You understand? God sin. God forbid it. But the pastor wouldn't read that scripture for you. The pastor would just read that small scripture and say, yes, they could sin. There's a homosexual that you're not coming to the church. Be a homosexual in the church. God loves you still. There's a lesbian, be a lesbian in the church. God will love you still. Now the pastor does to sin. And the pastor made him sin. That is why it has so much a crime in the black community for we sinning against the Lord. And the Lord cursed his people. The Lord cursed the Venezuelans. That's the right. The Lord cursed the Mexicans and them. Before we sinning against him. Because why? When we walk in church, the pastor leading us astray. The Christian leaders leading us astray. The number one cause for black on black crime is Christianity. Don't blame the drug dealer for black on black crime. Don't blame the drug dealer for Blame Christianity because why? If you have to drop the law, where is the religion? Because see that Christian. You understand? And as we just said, everybody's a Christian. Because why? The Muslims are saying the same exact thing. Christians are saying the same thing. Christians are saying Muslims are saying. Pastor is a damn hypocrite. Making us sin on a daily basis. It's because of him. It's not so much that black people dying. It's because of the pastor. So much that women are bought in their babies. In, 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 and abortion is a sin. You can't kill a baby, your baby's alive. You understand? When they go, them white people and them when they go to Mars, they just say they find a dot. That little dot in Mars, they say it is life. You understand? That little dot in the belly, that's a life. You can't abort a baby. But the pastor will tell you to go ahead and do an abortion. Because the pastor goes make it sin. And that's why God cursed black people today. Because of the Christian church. You understand? Yeah, the book of 1 John. Chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Right. For sin is a transgression of the law. Right? So sin is a transgression of the law. So if you sin, black man, black woman. If you sin, native Indian woman and native Indian man. If you sin, Hispanic woman and you sin, Hispanic man. That is a transgression of the law. And that is why the Lord is going to punish us so much. Yeah, so if you look at the statistics right now, the number one people with AIDS is black people because why the Lord cursing us. You yeah, understand? The Lord is cursing black people. We are the only race who don't have no nation. We are the only race who don't, who don't know the identity. We don't know the language. Because why? The Christian leaders and them are supposed to be responsible for that. Give the pastor was teaching us the truth. He that tell us our history in the Bible. He that tell you what language we used to speak in the Bible. But the pastor again making us sins. The book of First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Right? So this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So uh, what he says he's telling us here, if you want the love of God, keep the commandments. Thy love of God. To keep the commandments. You understand? Just keep the commandments, black man, black woman, and you will rule the planet earth. You understand? In, in the kingdom of heaven to come, the slavery, we are going to whip the backs of all the East Indians. We're going to whip the backs of the Chinese. We're going to whip the backs of them the Africans and the white man. All the heathens who is not Israelite, we're going to whip them. And they're going to be our slaves. 
and we're going to be the same master. But the only thing to do is to come back to the laws and the commandments and the Bible. That's right. So stop it poor, stop it crab and shrimp and lobster. And stop worshipping that, that Janus. You understand? You already don't worship it already. You understand? January born, first born. Which is not the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year according to the Bible is between March and April. Ending of March and beginning of April. That is the beginning of the year, not January 1st. That is the worship of a God called Janus. You understand? So, Shalom is right. They say the ISPK in Trinidad and Tobago under Commander General Yohanna. Right? Since 1969, we have been teaching the truth about the Bible. And according to the Bible, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the lost 12 tribes of Trinidad. This is a them, this is a them, this is a them, this is a them. Always killing when me there with me, sister friend. West. Everything live for now, it's figured up with them. The jaggy them, the jaggy them, the jaggy them, the jaggy them. Always killing when me there with me, jaggy friend. Anyone in there, simple thing for me, don't be them. Me know that them wasn't ready. Rifle a beat, balance the things steady. Cup a shot in your head, boss out the big jelly. Them want start the war and done daddy. See them now, see the jaggy them mad. We have me rifle like me just we have me rap on a carnival time in a chini dad. Them want start the war and then ball. All right, this is a them, this is a them, this is a them, this is a them. Always killing when me there with me sister friend. Everything live for now, each figure don't be them. The jaggy them, the jaggy them, the jaggy them, the jaggy them. Always killing when me there with me jaggy friend. Anyway, then they a simple thing for me don't be them. Strike on the men's cause me wanna catch a go. Dog, weed, reverse Out to the window, the 15 a burst 5.56, put you in a hearse Hold on, let me out, let me out, clear up the head there Press the